going on everybody i'm here to give you guys your review for little women and lines season four episode five called mini meltdown <clears throat> so weirdly enough i did not write down a question of the day but my question of the day for you guys is how do you feel about tanya and her entire situation more or less the beef between her and juicy i know Hopefully I did. Y'all saw the uh, tweets, well not tweets, but the social media clips from those two. So things are getting interesting. We shall surely see how this all goes. So I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible because I got this. Uh, what else? Uh, Married to Medicine and The Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I got three videos and I got to hurry get this shit out to y'all. And I also got homework. <laughs> like... Your boy is busy. Your boy, like these next, like this week and the next two weeks, it's going to be one. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, we pick up what we left off, Tanya and the baby, for what they told us at that point, it's okay. So, we have uh, the twins and Moni. They're at a nail text uh, seminar, and it appears that uh, Amanda is starting to like it. And that might end up being a pressure for her. Moving on. We got uh, Moni and Juicy. Yeah. Yeah, Moni and Juicy. Uh, they're getting vaccinated because apparently Tanya has said to them, like, unless the uh, girls get vaccinated, they're not going to be able to see her child. Seeing as how her child um, did not, I'm pretty sure, did not go to term. So her immune system is still developing. Fine by me. But then we got Minnie and Cora. Now Cora just walked in the house. Look, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what where the fuck we do this at. Well, you just leave your doors unlocked. Okay, I don't I don't understand it. But oh, okay, all right. <clears throat> Minnie tells her that she either wants to do lipo or gastric bypass surgery, and her mother is very like, eh. And um, she was trying to play it off, but her mother just doesn't want her to do it for obvious for obvious reasons. But and her mother whole thing is just like, <clears throat> why would you put money into something such as that when that money can go to something else? Just because you haven't seen the results in the last six months doesn't mean that you give up. And actually, if you are on a journey such as this <clears throat> and you get six months and you haven't seen results and you've been dedicated, then that's one of those where you just sit back, hopefully you've been keeping a journal or a keeping track of what you've been doing because I said I gotta get back on my shit <laughs> but if you track everything you'll see if you've been slipping anywhere or if you just hit a plateau it's easy to change the frequency of how often you do so the intensity of the time um, if that doesn't work you can reduce calories intermittent fasting you, again you can and when I say time you switch when we rest a lot of things you can do to get your body out of the plateau just saying <clears throat> What else we got? So we got the sage lady. Uh, she wants to keep her energy positive around her and the baby. And she's choosing not to let the girl see her child yet. And you know what? She has every fucking right to do so. Minnie goes to um, a doctor. The doctor pretty. And she's set on lipo. Not gas gastric bypass. And the doctor pretty much said that, okay, if we do lipo, will end up having to do atomic tuck too because of all the uh, skin that will uh, be hanging but he did tell her that lipo <clears throat> is not a weight loss solution you're probably going to end up losing 10 pounds and you know I don't think that they had, the uh, risk had truly been uh, discussed because he did talk about blood costs and everything but he didn't talk about the whole swelling and all of that the aching he did say uh, bleeding and whatnot, but pus, all this other stuff. I've never had it, but but we've seen enough TV to know that. And since she's going to get a 360, she's not going to be mobile all that much. So there's other complications there. I'm just going to leave that where it's at. Amanda, she does her apprenticeship. The girl named, uh, I, th I think her name was Pooch. I forgot to write the girl name down. But she pretty much tells her that she will be uh, sweeping, dusting, taking phone calls and whatnot. Amanda feels very subconscious and she decides she wants to pull her outside and it was almost like a check her type of thing Just like I don't want to be taken advantage of because you know little women da, 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 da. And Pooh's just like ain't nobody trying to take advantage of you like this is what anybody would be doing like 
you have to work your way up from the bottom and if you become great you'll end up having you end up owning your own shop so of course you're going to have to clean up taking calls all these other things like it's building the foundation so when you take that leap you already know what to do and that right there is good because you have a lot of places that you'll work someplace you don't know how things run and you want to sit here and venture off and do your own thing and because you don't know how to do it you fall on your face within the first year but if these was her concerns she could have been brought this shit up again it, to me it's a man of trying to have a moment but i think at the same exact time i think she saw that pooch wasn't trying to have her shit like she did that when it came to her previous manager but <laughs> you want for the come up in here and do that This glue down is delicious. All right, and if y'all, in case you're wondering, I, I'm down to my last little bit of glue vine. You know, is this shit right here? In case you want, you wondering this shit right here. So I got this, and then I also put some amaretto in there. It's feeling all good up in this region, all nice and warm and shit. Um, all right, what else we got? So we got the sage lady. She decides to let Sam and the beer come see her and the baby. And her whole thing is she's been friends with them for a while. But last that I checked, she's also been close friends with, you know, Moni. But we ain't even gonna go there. And she feels that she should be that she would be able to open up to them, and they would not judge her. So she says to them that she was in labor for three days, had an emergency section, and you know she hasn't been the same since the. Um, since giving birth, she's been a little bit depressed and whatnot, possibly suffering from postpartum. And the girls, you know, took it all in stride. Uh, what else we got? <laughs> so the twins, Andrea walks in. This is the second time somebody just walked into somebody's place. But, I'm sorry, Amanda walks into Andrea's place. And, no, no, lies, lies. Andrea walks into Amanda's place. Amanda is... Um, pretty much uh, doing Jordan's nails, you know, uh, trying to perfect her craft. And his whole thing is, this shit can come off, right? <laughs> you gonna take this shit off me because I'm hard. <laughs> Shout out to Forrest Rock. Um, and, you know, Amanda pretty much says that the reality has sunk in that they are going in two separate directions, two separate paths, and they're going to have to, you know, this is possibly just the end of, you know, the tiny twins, you know, but their sistership is still going strong what else we got Sam so she um for lack of better term sets up um Minnie and um invites over Cora now Cora brings up and I, I said it earlier so I got these out of uh whack that you know this is a lot of money to go towards a procedure such as this the light bulb followed by a tummy tuck those are two totally separate two totally different procedures so that is a lot of money and the fact that she said that yeah that's coming that's coming out of your pocket you're paying for that so she and that's when she was like you can you know put that money towards something else and then Cora says to her you don't understand like I said you are my child you won't understand until you have a child that when something that is dangerous such as this you are going to worry I ain't got kids like I said my nieces and my nephew are an extension so I do know but I've seen my mother especially with me being the baby she's been very protective over certain aspects of my life so I get that so many pretty much tells both of them more it was mostly to her mother but tells them that you don't understand my struggle being overweight and being a little person and she eventually leaves but my thing is, if it's such a struggle and they don't understand, then why not go? To, well, I think Sam understands. Sam is not as big as she is. There is somebody else on the cast that is bigger than you. So if it's such an issue, why not go to that person? But I do believe this is partially for a storyline. I'm just upset that come next episode, we finna sit him and revisit shit from last fucking season. Because many can't keep a storyline to save her damn life. But whatever. So the girls decide to have a dinner party for Tanya. Amanda. So everybody's there but Tanya. Amanda sees that Minnie and Sam are not speaking. So. Yeah. Minnie decides to tell her why. Of course Sam. As if they, she see all see the shit. But you know she decided to pay it does. The girls talk about seeing the baby. Sam says she has seen the baby. And the girls. Meaning um, Moni and. 
Juicy asked, well, are you vaccinated? And she was like, no. So right there, they're not they're not just pissed that Sam has seen the baby, but also so we went out of our way to get vaccinated. You're not vaccinated, but you were able to go see the baby. So they have every right in this instance to be mad when you set parameters and you don't follow through. It'd be different. She, now, at the end of the day, set the sage lady has every fucking, you know, right to sit here and say, you can't, you can't see my baby, but it is kind of foul to set some parameters and it doesn't extend to everybody else. <clears throat> so, I said, the girl's pissed off. Juicy, <clears throat> at this point, <clears throat> I don't think Juicy was necessarily going to be shady, but at this point, she was just like, now she wants to see who the baby daddy is because she feels the baby is mixed with all three of their asses. So Sam tries to defend the sage lady. I will give her that. And she just wants them to, like, just, like, kind of bring the shit down when Sam gets there. Now, Juicy gets it started, says, you know, as, uh, where's the baby? And says, uh, you're trying to get away from the baby already. You just had the baby. Juicy went for the bullshit, and again, we know Juicy is the one that started the bullshit. Now, it seemed like Tanya, I don't know, because it's so funny that her and Juicy had getting into it, but y'all were just Ace Boone Coons last season. But, you know, now it's, now it's truly a beef, and I don't know, like, Tanya's cute in the face, but, you know, she got a stank-ass attitude. I call her Tanya, but I know I'm calling her Sage Lady, see? But, <clears throat> I don't know how the fuck to feel about it. But it's it. I mean, if they don't get it popping, then that fuck it, they don't get it popping and shit. Well, what the fuck else we have with this? <laughs> so they ask, can they see the baby? The sage, sage lady says, yes, you can, but just don't pop up. So then Moni wants to know why she wasn't invited. Sam says she was in labor for, th and they was like, Sam says she was in labor for three days, and don't know. Then Amanda says. Sam says you wouldn't want us around because you know how we are. And the sage lady says that she is concerned that Juicy would have said something slick, which she probably would have. So she passes around her phone and shows a picture to all the girls because I guess that was the least that she could do. And then Juicy's like, I knew it. It's a, she, the baby has the baby has a sprinkle. Of all of them, she was like, it's convenient that, you know, Nico left and then, you know, uh, Vaughn just happens to show up. They stand the third, trying to say that, you know, of course, you know, uh, Vaughn spring a little bit of whatnot. Juice says the baby looked like all three of them. And then, of course, Sage Lady got mad and then she walked away. And that was it. So y'all tell me how y'all feel. Answer the question out there in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in a minute for our Mary to Madison. Peace.